Nancy here. Uh, you know, do you find that you struggle to finish the projects that you started, no matter how excited you get about them? Well, guess what? You are not alone. This is a really common problem. So this month we're talking about self-sabotage. And uh, so what we'll get today is three things. First of all, what is self-sabotage? What causes it? And then what are three ways that we can help ourselves finish the tasks that we start, the, the projects that we started that we really um, are excited about? Before we go there, my name is Nancy Brooker. I am the Living in Yes coach for women who feel overwhelmed by life's demands um, and secretly feel they're not good enough, but are really ready to transform that inner critic and to embrace life. And so they hire me to help them uh, you know, really connect to their inner worth so that they can rock their relationships, stress less, and really start living in yes. So, what is self-sabotage anyways? Well, it's really those things that we, we do or we don't do in our lives that tend to block our success or prevent us from accomplishing these things that we want. And usually they're, they're unconscious. We don't, we're not doing them on purpose or we're not not doing them on purpose. It's just something that happens and it affects our personal and our professional successes. So what's an example? Well, maybe you have set a wellness goal for 2023. You know, this is the time of year we're all setting goals. And maybe it has to do with improving your nutrition um, or maybe going to the gym or whatever that is. And yet, you've gotten that membership or or you came up with your plan but every day some little excuse something comes up that stops you from going totally normal you're it's very common um or or maybe uh you know i'll say you know for me this weekend uh, i got together with some girlfriends and there was some really great food and i probably overindulged i'm not going to beat myself up over it but it was self-sabotaging some of my nutritional goals. Um, maybe you have a financial goal that you want to save some money or, or you, you're trying to you know, prepare for something really big that's coming up and you know, you've, but then you go and get that coffee or whatever that's starting to eat away at your goal. All these little, little things that just stop us from, from achieving what the success that we want. Um, so what causes self-sabotage? Well, actually, there's a lot of things that can cause it. Maybe we don't, we have a low self-esteem, we don't feel like we deserve whatever the goal is. Uh, maybe we've just formed bad habits over the years. Um, and it's, it's this uh, unconscious thing that just keeps happening and we haven't really figured out that it's unconscious and that we need to become conscious about it and, and uh, how to control that, how to change that habit. Um, maybe it's a need to be in control and maybe there's, uh, you know, we feel like our lives are out of control and so the little control that we have is that we can, uh, you know, satisfy a craving with a piece of chocolate or whatever and that's in our control. Could be fear of failure, feel of fear of success. Uh, family, you know, my, this is the way my family does it. it, could be some social or peer pressure, it could be so many different things, and we've talked about a lot of these before, um, and we've talked about how incredibly effective emotional freedom techniques is at dealing with some of these embedded triggers that, and just freeing us of these triggers so that we can start moving forward. But we here we'll get to three steps that you can use to finish what you've started. Step number one, make a plan. And I'm actually not even talking about, uh, you know, your 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 plan of how you're going to achieve. I'm talking about your plan of really sitting and thinking about the list, listing out the thoughts and actions that you're doing or not doing, thinking, um, whatever that is, that are stopping you, that are holding you back. So that and write them down, so that when you know, and keep them somewhere that you can see them so that you can really notice what's happening as you're trying to move forward with your goal. And you'll be like, oh yeah, that, I'm doing that thing again, or that's what's coming up. Because you can't address something unless you can notice it and, um, and, and really become conscious of it to, you know, it's, that's the best way to start to change things. 
Um, and we're and that way we're anticipating the roadblocks before they come up. So that's number one. Really make a plan um, in terms of what could happen, what could come up for you. Number two, chunk down your goals. Make them smaller, make them into mini goals. Sometimes we think we have to achieve this big thing and we forget that all the little things that we do along the way are big achievements and that we need to reward ourselves for those things as we go. We want to make um, those goals big enough so that you know they're important and we won't really want them, but we want to make sure that if we're just, especially just starting with this, choose something that's going to be attainable. You want to experience and feel what it's like to have a win so that will motivate you to just keep going and move on to the next thing and experience more wins because you'll know what it's like. Um, really keeping your spirits up. And number three, give yourself some grace. You know, you are not alone. Everybody goes through this. So it's okay when you get frustrated or tired of whatever it is, take a little break. Give yourself some time to, you know, regenerate, to renew, whatever that is. I mean, sometimes I know I find when I get really, when I'm working on something and I'm getting really frustrated with it uh, or I can't figure something out, I just need to walk away and then sometimes I'll even, the answer will just come to me while I'm gone or, or at the very least when I come back, I'll feel refreshed and renewed and better able to deal with whatever I'm dealing with. Um, so it's a real reset for your mind and your focus. Uh, so next time you're working towards your goal and you're working on this little mini goal part of it and remember, anticipate the thoughts that might come up, chunk down the goals, give yourself some grace, reward yourself, uh, and just have fun with it and make sure uh, to help, you know, set yourself up for success because that's the most important thing. So I'll leave you with this quote from Alice Corin Selby and she says, self-sabotage is when we say something, we, or we want something, and then we go about making sure it doesn't happen. <laughs> so hopefully that's not going to be you. Uh, but remember, you're not alone and there are a lot of ways to move through and actually achieve what you want. So, um, thanks for listening. Grab your freebies down below, Seven Simple Ways to De-Stress, uh, Helping Your Child with Anxiety, and um, the communication, the one on communication. And, um, you know, if you're stuck, then let's chat because uh, I help my clients every day to move forward with their goals and really remove those subconscious blocks that are holding them back. Take care, have a good one.